the U.S. is an aging nation. Uh, you may see some young faces out there, people working out here, but we are an aging nation. We have to embrace the reality that we're, we're not kids anymore. I actually saw a video and it hit, it, it hit the point on the, uh, the nail on the head as we, as we speak. The video shows a guy going to various places. Oh, can we help you? He's like, and he's a young guy, trim beard. Oh no, I'm fine, I can do it, don't worry about it. And he's going through all these different people trying to help him and he's like, don't worry about it, I'm good, I'm good. Then his granddaughter comes, takes a picture of him and the young guy that you're seeing on the screen is not the young guy in the picture. The picture is a guy of 85 years old, which kind of sets a point. We may not feel old, but the reality is we're not as young as we used to be. I'm 55 years old. Honestly, I don't feel 55 years old up here. Back here? That's a different story. <laughs> and that's the point. We're changing, we're aging, and we have to adapt to it. Um, as far as the population, 65 plus people make up one in six of the population. That's slated to go to one in four. So almost 25% eventually will be 65 plus. Uh, they may not be you, they may be your parents, they may be your grandparents, but you have to keep that in mind. Uh, the challenges with seniors is that they do run into health issues eventually. Some sooner than others. Um, I don't have a problem saying I have AFib, atrial fibrillation. And my, my heart gets wonky every once in a while. But that's part of, being, that's part of aging. It, it could be your eyes. Your eyes start, you're needing glasses. Even though you're young, you're needing glasses. I've been using glasses for a while. Um, mobility. Uh, sometimes uh, we don't move as we don't move as quickly or as easily as we used to. I, I mean, back in the day, I used to do martial arts and things like that. These days, I'm not getting in the ring with nobody because <laughs> more more things going to break on me than on them. Um, also, uh, the reality is our body is changing. Uh, we may not have had diabetes before; it may not have been a problem. Diabetes is becoming a problem for, for, for us as we age. Uh, hypertension, cholesterol, these, these are realities as we age. We need to pay attention to those. Now, you, you may be wondering, why is the realtor speaking about this? Why does the realtor care? Because the realtor is gonna become an old guy and the realtor is, is, is gonna have to help these people at some point in life. Um, and this is something I uh, also like to share about myself. I'm a widower. I lost my wife in 2018 to cancer. That changed my perspective on life 180. Uh, it made me realize life is short. Uh, I have my faith, I have my family, but you can't be ignorant that life is changing and you have to be ready to, to death. I have uh, some dear neighbors of mine. They, they live right next door to me. Lady's 90 years old, has Alzheimer's. Husband is 84 years old. I think he's in better shape than I am. But the reality is they're in their 80s and, they're, and sometimes they need to pick up the phone and say, Jose or Yeg, my wife, can you take me to Walmart or can you take me to a doctor's appointment? Because that's the, re that's the reality is gonna face us all. And we have to we have to be as business owners, regardless of what kind of what kind of business we are, we have to accept the reality. We're gonna deal with, we're gonna be dealing with people that are older, and even if they don't admit it, they need a little bit of help. They need a little bit of love. Let's just be honest, and we need to be able to step up and be there for them.